Hi folks, uh, Dane from socialbookshelves.com here and today I'm going to take the uh, I have too many books tag. Did I get that right? I don't know. We're just going to go for it. So one of the reasons I want to do this tag, uh, I can't even remember who I saw it. I've been watching loads of booktubers lately and every now and then I see someone do a tag and I'm like, I must do that. Um, but also I've got a new camera and lighting, which I'm learning to use as we speak. Yeah, let's get into the questions. Question one, the book you've owned for the longest. Um, now, oh, oh, I tell you what that is. Oh, I can't remember who wrote it. All my books are alphabetized by surname. I mean, this is only one of about eight bookcases. This is a... Uh, a to uh, D for Paul Durham down there. There's a book, and I can't remember who wrote it, um, but it's called Dinosaur Adventure. Tom, Tom Mosey, let me go get it. You know what, I can't find it, I have too many books, but um, I have this book called Dinosaur Adventure by Tom Mosey, and basically it's uh, a sort of a, a customizable story uh, about uh, a little kid who finds a dinosaur. So I'm in it, and my uh, half-brother and half-sister are also characters, because it's one of those where you put in all the details in it and it gives you a book. And my grandparents got me that for probably my second birthday or something, so I reckon that's the one I've owned for the longest. It's not the oldest book though. Question two. The book that you've owned for the longest and haven't read yet. Actually, I think I might have one for this. Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler. Um, for obvious reasons, I've actually, I did start it on the way to work. Um, yeah, I've got 20 pages in, it's like 550 pages long of Nazi bullshit really, so... Uh, yeah, I'm pro pro probably not going to ever actually finish it, but it's one of those books I feel like I should have read. Number three, the book that you hate and you totally should have gotten rid of by now, but you haven't. Christ, that could be any number, I mean, that, what's up here, just pick any random one. Um, I mean... I always review, I've reviewed every book that I read and there are a few that I've given bad scores to. I think this was one of the, oh no, that one was all right actually. It's mainly um, self-published poetry. I, I mean, nothing. there's nothing wrong with self-published poetry by the way. There are some awesome uh, self-published poets out there. But it tends to be shit more often than, than um, any other genre I've found. Um, so there was one, I can't even remember the guy's name and I don't want to, um, I don't want to, what was his name? Basically, there was this author a while back, he sent me a book of his poetry, and it wasn't very good, so I gave him like two out of five stars. And then he went on a vendetta against me, and uh, he left a fake review for one of my books with one out of five stars, under a fake name. I think he called himself Skylight. It's like, fucking hell, what dickhead. Anyway, I blogged about it and revealed the chicanery he was, he was up to, because he was being a dickhead, you know. Like, I don't get it. So if you send somebody a book, and they don't like it, Accept the fact that they don't like it. Be glad that they read your book in the first place. I mean, I do that. I, I have no problem with, like, real... If I got a real one-star review, it hasn't happened yet, touch wood. But if I did, as long as it was kind of, you know, somebody had read the book and just didn't like it, that's fine. A book that someone pressured you into getting, but you just don't want to read it. Um... Ah... Uh, <laughs> one of my friend's books, probably. No, um, I don't know. There's... What have I got up on that bookcase? A lot of stuff like, right, I, I mean, I love booktube and I love the fact that there's a place where people can talk about books. I mean, I'm not really a booktuber, I'm an author who does videos every now and then, but I watch a lot of channels and everyone reads the same stuff, like, and everyone's always talking about the same books, and then I'm over here reading, like, Charles Bukowski being like, what are you, what are you talking about? Based on that, a book that I've been pressured into getting but I don't particularly want to read, it's probably something something off the book to you. Um, I don't know, I can't think of any. I really can't think of any, because I, I still wouldn't buy a book if I didn't want to read it. I mean, it's as simple as that, so I want to read all of them. A book on your TBR that you want to read next. Right, well for that, it's got to be this. So, this is The Drawing of the Three, which is the second book in uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower series. And I want to read that because I've just read The Gunslinger, which is the first book in that series. And I've been, um, you know, I've heard good things about it, so I thought I'd, I'd read my way through the series. So this is what I've got next. The book that you bought at the bookstore that one time, but haven't read yet. I mean, that's my entire to be read bookcase over there. I, I buy a lot of books, mainly from charity shops, to be honest. Um, I can't really pick any one individual one out. Um, yeah. 
I've got a list of about 200 of them. I mean, that's one, that Stephen King one is one. That, this is all off my TBR case, you know. The book that you spent all your money on at that bookstore. I don't go to bookstores, damn it. <laughs> I go to charity shops or go on eBay maybe and get them secondhand. I mean, this is another thing actually. I know a lot of people who get very obsessive about the quality of their books and they, they you know, they pay out I mean, tea stains or folded pages, all of that stuff. I mean, I don't care. Uh, the, the important thing is the book itself, the quality of it is kind of immaterial. So usually when I buy books, I go online and get them used and, you know, two, two pound for the book and the postage and packaging. The prettiest book you own. Um, I've got loads of that, that are quite interesting. I mean, I guess I would pick, I can't be bothered to go and get it, but I would probably go for uh, either uh, the Arrival by Sean Tan, which is a graphic novel that's told purely through visuals, there's no, no words in it. Or something else like that, maybe uh, Epileptic by David B or Mouse by Arch Beagleman. I mean, they're, they're just pretty inside and out, I guess. The Ugly Ho on your bookshelf. I've got lots of ugly books. Um, it's probably one of mine, actually. It's something like this. This is the first book I ever wrote. It's a book called Annie. As you can see, it's a bit, you know, it's just... Didn't really know what I was doing back then, but you know. Okay, number ten, optional. Show us all your books. I am gonna do this, but first I'm gonna do my sign off because then I can just go around with the camera because it's currently on the tripod. I have lots of books, like lots. Uh, so I'm only gonna give you a quick glance. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this tag, feel free to do it yourself. Um, I, I'm not gonna tag anyone because let's be realistic. I don't even know if anyone watches any of my videos. What's his name? Brock. Brock from Let's Read. You watch my videos sometimes. Hi, Brock. You should do this tag. If you haven't already, you might have already done it. I don't know. Um, yeah, cool. All right, thanks a lot. See you. Bye. All right, well, first off, take a look at my serious setup there, my little tripod. Yeah, gone pro. Okay, bookcase number one. This is A through to D. I'm just going to, you know, this, is, this could take me an incredibly long time. I have lots of books. Around here, past the light, I'm gonna try not to blind you with that. That's my TV book quotes, that's a Terry Pratchett quote. Uh, this is my to be read bookcase, so uh, I try and start a new book every day on my way to work, and if I don't read them, I don't read them, and I give them to charity. If I do read them, awesome! Um, yeah, I've got lots of books on there, it's kind of full up. Uh, I've got these two little bookcases through here as well, which is continuing on from the other one. Again, all, all alphabetical by Arthur's surname. Uh, and then we come through here into my bedroom. I haven't got a light on or any lighting whatsoever in here really, but here we go. More bookcases. Um, again, only the uh, to be read bookcase. That's the only one that's got books on it I haven't read. But all the rest of these are all reviewed and on the blog. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, there's a picture of me and my mum. And there's loads of copies of my books. Yay, buy my books, please. All right.